talking 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 is what this episode is all about so we get a little bit of explanation as to why rhino and Bertold are doing what they do the episode starts with Eren waking up realizing that he is on a tree with no limbs at all so i guess he needs a hand right uh, no okay <laughs> so what happens is um that Ymir tries to convince Eren not to do anything stupid just like Rhino and Berthold who you know have a chat with Eren and Eren tries to turn into a titan but apparently once they are injured or at least once they have used their titan powers it takes a huge toll on their body and you can see this when Annie overslept after she turned into the female titan and caused havoc during the expedition outside the walls and we have the same thing here happening to Ymir and Eren but this time their bodies are too worn out to transform straight after you know they just got out of a transformation i find it surprising how Eren is able to remain calm after the people who you know gave him his goal to destroy all the titans are standing right in front of him i mean these people are the people who killed his mother the people who are responsible for all the deaths in the shiganshina district as well as the other deaths like marco and thomas and, and all these deaths that have been happening until right now and the fact that Eren can actually remain calm when standing in front of these two people it's actually surprising to me because he always loses himself in a fit of rage. Ymir tells Rhino to tell her whatever he was going to tell her once Eren woke up so he doesn't have to repeat it twice. So Eren wakes up and Rhino starts talking. He says first of all they need to transport Eren and Ymir to their hometown but apparently they will not tag along obediently like you don't fucking say. You are responsible for killing a person's parents and then you reveal yourself to being the killer and then you expect the person to come with you. That's like me walking up to a police officer and asking them to give me their gun so I can shoot them in the face. It doesn't work. And from what it seems, Reiner is actually the leader. And if a leader is this stupid, then and the person who ever assigned the leader was quite stupid. So anyways, Eren says, fuck this, I'm turning into a titan and I'm out. But the question is, will he survive? Because there are lots of titans just waiting for them to drop off the tree so they can devour them. Yemei asks about the titans being able to move at night and then Reiner counters by saying, these titans are not able to move at night. So the ones at Odgard Castle were actually special and Reiner goes on to say that you may should know this and one clue that i will give you is that it has something to do with memories and titan powers in conclusion you may should know why some of the titans can move at night and others can't remember when i said titans cannot climb well i got a lot of shit for it but guess how many titans climbed the trees this episode none and that is because they are stupid they cannot climb trees unless you are a titan shifter then that is different because these people actually have intelligence anyways we have some dialogue between yame and rhino who are talking about whether rhino made the right decision to betray the people within the walls and rhino is having an identity crisis because after spending a lot of time being one of the soldiers within the walls he actually got attached to them and developed some kind of bond with the people that he was working with within the walls now the issue here is that rhino is still fighting it internally while Wow, Berthold is just sitting there and now he's he's ready to go so whenever he needs to make a decision he makes it straight away now Berthold looks like the person who is more calm and collected but at the same time I think he is the person with a weak mind and now if someone with a weak mind is able to decide what they want straight away then I guess Berthold is more suited to lead whatever team or whatever side they are on like I said the beast titan or the monkey or whatever you want to call it is the person who is behind all these titan attacks now apparently he is trying to test the abilities or the military power of the people within the walls and obviously this fails because the tower gets collapsed and all these people who were fighting the titans die so obviously the assessment that he makes is that they have weak military thus making it easier for him to carry out whatever plans that he has in mind now I doubt that we are gonna see the beast titan for the rest of the entire season because we only have like a few episodes left until the season is over and god knows how long it's gonna take before they animate a new season in this play maybe by the time we are in our late 50s or 60s we have the survey corps who are on their way to save Eren and Ymir and Rana and Berthold do not actually have the time to wait until nightfall because they will be caught up to by the survey corps so whatever they are gonna do they are gonna have to do it fast at the end of the episode we see a green flare and that is the sign that there were people on horses heading towards the titan forest and the thing is that the first time when they went in there or the multiple times that the survey corps has went into the titan forest it never worked out really well so i think the same thing is going to happen again because this is attack on titan and if a lot of people don't die in a certain area then this is the wrong freaking show so obviously a lot of people are gonna die because this show is attack on titan 
The last thing I want to talk about is how Marco died. Now we got a flashback in this episode showing us how he died and someone was restraining him and I think we are gonna get a better explanation as to how Marco died. Now for the people that really want to know how this happened you can actually look this up because there is a manga version of this anime for those who do not know that and what specifically happened to Marco has been displayed and the thing is that we have Reiner being delusional saying why is the titan eating Marco? Well guess what it is because he actually helped in the whole situation of Marco getting eaten so it's like why would you question something that you are responsible for. So the next episode we have Ymir who is going to be jumping from tree to tree in her titan form as well as Rainer and Berthold still talking and the survey corps are off their horses and on their 3d maneuver gear meaning that they are closing in to Rainer and Berthold. The fact that they are on their gear and Rainer and Berthold were seen in front of the forest that means that they headed deep inside and the fact that Ymir is hopping from left to right within the forest means that they are moving and Eren has been restrained and taken by Reiner and Berthold. And then we have Reiner who we see in a shot trying to transform into a titan so my guess is that he's going to transform into the armor titan and run again. But that was pretty much everything for this episode there wasn't really much to discuss because Attack on Titan itself as a show explains everything in depth compared to all these other shows that leave you on random cliffhangers. So that has been my review for today like and subscribe and hit that notification button and all that bullshit you know what to do with that being said i have nothing more to say bye